if you don't understand how you are created, you are never going to understand what we're moving into talking about prophetic prayer. Being that you are created in three parts, a body, a soul, and a spirit, you are created in the image of God. God the Father, God the Son, God the Holy Spirit. You have a spirit within you. That's what we're going to be focusing on through this whole course. But you also have a body. It's easy for everybody to identify and understand what a body is. We all see the body. Some bigger than others. Some prettier than others. But we all have one. The soul, the mind, will, and emotion, is your thoughts. It is what you have stored within you. It's your, your composition of, of thought. It is what has been retained. It is your hard drive that stored all the data through all the years. It's also where is the battlefield where the enemy comes to you and drops thoughts in you. It's also the place where revelation comes to you and there's a warring taking place in the soul all the time. But it is in the spirit that we want to really focus on because the spirit is the, the, the un defiled seed of God in you. The Spirit is the only part of you that's truly righteous. The Spirit in you is where you will find all the supernatural effects of God working in you. And many of us are really insensitive, really not even recognizant of the fact that we have a Spirit. But if you are a child of God, and God is Spirit, you better know your Spirit. Each and every one of us have a uniqueness in our created being. Let's go to the very next uh, verse in Luke um, chapter 11, <laughs> verses 2 through 4. A common prayer, but yet most powerful, most profound. And we've lost a lot of the value in this prayer that Jesus taught the disciples to pray. Our Father who art in heaven, Hallowed be your name, your kingdom come, your will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Now the rest of it is just as good, but I'm going to stop out there due to time. When you pray, and you find out in the Spirit what is being said in heaven, and you pray that on earth, it will be done. You understand what Jesus said? This is what Jesus did when He walked on the face of the earth. That's why He spent so much time in prayer because He went to the Father. Lord, what do I do? What can I expect? What do you ask of me? Even when He was in the Garden of Gethsemane. And God the Father says, you're going to be laid up as a lamb. You're going to be sacrificed for the world. That they will enter into my kingdom. Jesus even said, you know, can this cup pass me? Can we do it another way? There was no other way. And Jesus, being man as well as God, had to die to himself to do the will of God. There was a suffering. There was a pain. There was a consequence. But there was also a tremendous reward to sit at the right hand of Almighty. All is given unto him. All of us are given unto him. All of them, everything is given unto him. He owns it all. Sometimes to be abased is the greatest thing that can happen to you. Because if you're abased, you will abound if you're being abased for the cause of Christ.